Hira Motors Corporation is an automotive manufacturing company incorporated by the government of Uganda to spearhead the local vehicle production. In 2011, Uganda launched its first prototype electric vehicle, which proved that over time, local automobile production could become a reality. A few years later, a solar-powered electric bus was also launched. Now, Kira Motors' newest model electric sedan in the EV series has been given its first proper road test. The car is a hybrid vehicle which runs on both a conventional internal combustion engine and an electric battery. Professor Sandy Stevens Tikodri Togboa, the executive chairman of Kira Motors, says most of what was used to build the vehicle's body is locally made. The base on which the whole car sits, that we did in uh, Mtinda, okay? we were using material from roofings, okay? that base you see over there. This whole body, we built it from Mtinda. Okay? For the bus we actually built from industrial, for, for this one we built it in, in Mtinda. Tikodri says Kira Motors will be partnering with the UPDF to set up a car assembly plant. The president gave us authority to engage the National Enterprise Corporation, okay, the army industry, if you like, to build, to help, because we are going to now engage them uh, together with the UPDF Engineering Brigade, put up the structure, the, the building and so forth. And uh, we think that by December, hopefully the, the shell, the, the wall should be, we should be now importing machines, okay, that we shall use to assemble or to build a, build a car. Tikodri's main concern is that local factories cannot produce some of the more crucial components needed to manufacture the cars. He, however, he hopes that soon most of these required materials will also be locally produced. This is because right now we don't have factories that have got capabilities to make the various parts that we want. Because we shall specify, make this out of this material and in this size, this configuration, bring them to ginger and then you put okay we are saying that um, over the next over, over the years up to say two, uh, 2030 okay i hope i'll still be around 2030 okay 90% of what goes in that car should be coming from from here and that entails us killing our young people who are coming out of the universities he is hopeful that when the project becomes successful, it will offer different opportunities to Ugandans. Our own industries, we are saying that because there are various parts that must be produced from outside the factory, Ugandans should not be setting up businesses that will produce those parts. And for the leather, for example, we have a lot of cows, I think, from and so forth. Those fellows should be rearing those cows produce the skins, the heights, in a form that we can convert them into leather and we shall use those in, in the car. For now, the mass production of a Ugandan made car still remains a distant prospect, but if all the plans and projections of people like Professor Tikodri are given the requisite attention and priority, then maybe it won't be long until Uganda has a vibrant automotive industry of its own. Olivia Komgisha, NTV.